Hi Leo, welcome to SoapQuest. My name is Spence. Welcome in if you're new and welcome back if you're a subscriber. All right, I am shuffling for you from the Oracle of Seven Energies by Colette Baron Reed. Gonna use that again. Pulling a card for you, and I'm gonna read that from the book, and I'm gonna pull you a nine card spread from the Lightseer's Tarot by Chris Ann as well. All right, we're gonna read horizontal, vertical, big picture. All right. So let's just talk about something exciting for you this week, Leo. For all of us, really, but most especially for you. <laughs> Leo, we have Venus, the yin, feminine principle energy, the planet of love, money, beauty, is going to be conjuncting with Mars, the male principle. So yin and yang, male, female, conjuncting in your house, Leo. So that, of course, your house is the house of fun, sun, children, authenticity, shining out, and romance, big time, right? Not to mention creativity, right? So it can be fun. They call your house the fun house. So Leo, with Mars and Venus, celestial lovers, conjuncting in your house, this bodes well for you, right? With relationships, so if you want to work on stuff, relationship. Nope, not that one. Pulling one for you. There we go. A merry motive. Nice. Leo, a merry motive. Awesome. All right. And let's look at your nine card. Well, I shuffle just a couple of more times, even though I've pre-shuffled quite a bit. How about settling in? Get comfortable where you are. Take a couple of Deep cleansing breaths, bring down that cortisol, plant your feet in the floor, drop your shoulders, and relax. All right, all right, let's cut the deck. Just, okay, let's cut the deck. There we go. There we go. I'm going to pull the nine cards and then read that Merry Motive card for you, okay? I'm going to take this in for a minute while you're breathing and relaxing a little bit. And I will also do the same. I think this is going to be a very, very good week for you for conflict resolution if that's necessary right now in any of your relationships. I think you have the chance here to bring some healing love medicine back into your relationship because I think there's been some issues but after talking about it and assessing I think you'll know um, one way or another where you stand and how you feel about it you definitely want a new beginning one way or another I definitely see some I see 50-50. I see some people that are going to renew relationships and I see some people that are not. So, but one thing for sure with the six of wands on the bottom of the deck is you're having self-respect. And that's a very good thing. And you're being seen as someone who is willing to take a stand and be honest. That's very important. Taking a stand, being honest, authentic, Leo, right? Saying it out loud shining like the sun, authenticity. This is my truth, I'm standing up for it, and no matter what, I need to respect myself and say my piece, and also doing that, letting the other person do that, I think has been very, very important in your relationship, okay? You're a strong sign, you have a strong yang energy. So conflict resolution is something that actually you're very good at when you practice it well with your energy, right? Awesome. Okay, Mary Moda for you, Leo. I turned right to it. Weird. Mary Motive. All right, here we go. Key concepts. Knowing your own motives. Understanding what drives you to meet your goals. The momentum your attention creates. And the wisdom behind your intentions. You've chosen a path. You've set an intention. You've begun to move forward toward a goal. You feel compelled to keep going. But do you know the why behind the drive? Do you truly want what you're pursuing or are you chasing a destination with the anticipation of how it will make others feel about you or you about yourself? You must choose to be in the flow of experience, relishing the moment. Surrender your expectations to a higher power rather than being guided by your limited self. 
The most important aspect to consider now is where you place your focus because that's where energy flows. If you are resentful, the outer world will show you more opportunities to be resentful. If you're envious of others, competitive or overly ambitious, you'll always feel as if you're not enough. If you focus on gratitude and compassion for others, you'll see even more reasons to be grateful and loving. When you look for abundance, it has an uncanny way of multiplying in your life. So if you're unsure about your motives, the results will be just as unclear. Dig deep to understand your why. Trust that the universe will provide the outcome that is a perfect match for your intention. It always does. Intention is extremely important for you this week, Leo, most especially with Mars and Venus conjuncting in your house because it's kind of make or break, I think, for certain relationships right now. And because you're Leo, that might be the case for you. It might be make or break time. And I think that and I'm saying that because in the center here, of your spread is the five of wands and this is conflict and struggle a battle of wills at the bottom of the deck is the six of wands from the five the contested energy discord to the six i know who i am i am i'm self-respecting and i've spoken my piece i know what i want and i don't want this anymore so I think that there has been conflict and I think that you're ready to just be sure about what you want, what you know, what you feel and taking up, you know, taking the position to stay at peace with, with who you are because this is the seven of wands. So the five, the six and the seven and it's taking a stand in, in, in whatever this dynamic is. Okay, now with the yin yang, the you know Mars Venus conjunction, it really could be just within yourself, your yin yang balance, your masculine feminine self, right? The internal to the external, how you think and feel inside, and what you do with it, how you act on the outside, right? So if it's that, then in your battle, you've been battling with yourself then you are definitely coming to a place where you've decided, you know, I'm going to just have some self-respect here and do exactly what I intend to do the way I want to do it because I believe in myself. So you, are, you definitely need to ask yourself, what is the why? Why was I struggling so hard about whatever? And why did I need validation why did I need to be seen? Why did I need the respect that I needed? Had I been feeling disrespected, unseen, unheard? And why did I need this so badly? Was I not giving it to myself? Was I needing other people to validate me? Was I, or, was, you know, was I needing other people to mirror back to me what my ego construct tells me that I am, right? Because our Leo, we all have Leo in our, in our charts or whatever, and you know, that's about our ego construct. You know, they say the ego, super ego, in it, in psychology, it's who we think we are by telling ourselves who we think we are and whether or not we tell ourselves the truth, whether we are in denial, whether or, you know, we, are authentic inside of our own selves, let alone out to the world, because we mirror that, don't we? In, in, internal to external, yin yang. Okay, the reason I'm saying all of this is because number one, this is in the center, and I'm seeing that you came to a moment where, a couple moments, where you're like, I'm moving on. If this is has been a romantic relationship, it has been one that you have been looking at very closely and trying to decide upon. If this isn't, and this is just about your motivations for what you're trying to do in life, right? Your life purpose or your career or in a family, you, you know, your place, you're done in the dynamic of your family, right? Or, you know, a friend group. It's like, nah, I don't even know if I'm getting along with this person. 
no matter what the dynamic has been about, this is definitely relational. And the reason I'm saying that is you're either battling with yourself about how other people think about you, or you're battling other people and what they think. Because the wand's suit, the suit of fire, is about our will. So it's very much an individual I am kind of will presence, right? So I do think it's relational. First, across the top, Six of Swords, you've decided from the Five of Swords previously, I'm not going to argue about it anymore, and I'm not going to stay silent about it anymore. I'm moving forward. I'm going to speak to myself and the person or the people at work or whomever, the, my lover, whoever, in a different way. I'm moving forward. I'm not doing it the way I did before. I'm not thinking the way I thought before because I made a decision at the King of Swords. The king at the highest octave of the suit of swords of thinking and communicating has made a decision. Rising above the clouds. No more negativity. I'm moving forward mentally and verbally. I'm communicating differently now because I want to feel good about life. Knight of Wands. All the knights are about how we move through life, how we make change in life, how we move. And the Knight of Wands moves quickly with passion and excitement and enthusiasm and energy. They're just the most, it's the most energetic night. Lots of energy. So, you know, you, you want to move forward. You want to move forward quickly, quickly because you've made the decision to do so. Okay. Then I see the fool. You, you, you know, this is brand new for you. This is a new beginning. Whether it's a new beginning in a relationship, it's a new beginning from a relationship, or whether it's a new beginning in the way you are in any relationship. Could even be professional. You've decided to change the way you are being in relationship itself. Brand new. You're taking the leap. You're, you're diving in. You're creating a brand new life for yourself by being different. You're allowing yourself to grow, being different. Okay, because this, you know, you're looking at it. She's looking with this crystal and she's like, what was all that about? Right? Well, you know what? I want that. I don't want to get into all this mess. I want to jump into something more creative, more freeing, more positive more loving, more romantic. So maybe though with these three, you took a risk on a romantic relationship, possibly, and it caused a lot of problems, or that they maybe this relationship made you question yourself. Maybe this person kind of got into a battle of wills with you. A lot of ego play going back and forth, power plays. Gaslighting it can be a million things, really. Just depends on what the relationship is and how it's played out. But one thing or another is you want new. You want it to feel new. You want to try something new because this does not feel good. It doesn't solve anything. It just makes a mess. And you you want real, authentic relationship with open heartedness and romance perhaps I definitely see this guy as the obviously he's the knight in shining armor the romantic so this can very much be about a romantic relationship okay very much so can be absolutely ones that have worked but got into a situation of trouble and then needed to work itself out and will ones that did not work and moving on starting all over from a new place with having learned better about your part in the dynamic of having a relationship itself you know are do you allow someone too much free will and you don't you know exert your own enough and you end up in a you know a codependent relationship or you know maybe you're a bit too assertive and you know you don't allow for a little bit more equality in the relationship. I'm, you know, I'm no judgment. 
No judgment. These are questions to ask yourself, right? We all have the, all these issues, every one of the zodiac. We all go around the circles and cycles of life dealing with all this stuff. Okay, Nine of Pentacles. So you've decided you're going to get independent about this. You're going to take care of yourself. Every day, you're not going to need so much validation from others, so much cheerleading from others because you're doing it for yourself. You've decided that because it had become too much of a burden to carry the baggage of the old way of having a relationship. And after counting it all out and doing your assessment, you realize it's baggage. I got to let go of that. It's not helping me feel confident. My confidence wanes. My confidence gets snuffed out by baggage and tr drudgery. It's too hard. And then I stop and think, is this worth it? So, you know, you're really doing an assessment here. Let's go down the vertical. I'm moving forward now. I'm being led by spirit, trying to realize I've got to end one way of doing things and moving into smoother waters, clearer waters, where I can see potential, potential for something that makes me feel fantastic about myself, confident in relationship, confident in my own abilities, confident in my worthiness in relationship, because I'm above the clouds now. I've learned about myself, about my own issues, about my own baggage, and I can't take on the baggage of others they have to work out their own stuff. I'm working out mine. Right, Leo? And now I can move forward. I can go by the beat of my own drum. I can be independently, confidently me with self-respect, not needing so much validation from others, giving it to myself, right? And then maybe I'll be ready for romance again. Or maybe after learning this about myself, I can understand why my relationship wasn't as equitable and harmonious as it could be. So, you know, maybe I, I wasn't taking it seriously enough. And I was being all like romancy, romancy, when really I should have valued it more. Maybe you're saying the other person was doing that. You were taking a very serious assessment of why. What are your intentions in these relationships that you've been in or that you are in now? No matter what kind of relationship, there is a battle of wills, a power struggle. And it's knit nat stuff. It's just when we get our ego bruised, isn't it? whether you are or they are, or both, right? So, Knight of Wands, Knight of Cups, this is, this can be beautiful and fun, you know? It can be, you know, Venus and Mars coming together and talking about the relationship and saying, okay, you know what, it, is this worth it? Is it worth it? And are we staying? Are we sticking together or are we not? I think you need to ask yourself, and can I be absolutely self-respecting enough to see the truth? Queen of Swords sees the truth. You know, to make sure I stay in my bubble of trust, my bubble of truth, being true to my soul, and shining my own light, airing out the dirty laundry, telling this person what your intentions are for the relationship. Because when you do, I think it's going to go really, really well. And whether you stay together or separate, whether this is family or friends, your part in the relationship is going to be a little different now. You're jumping into a new pool of emotions. You're trusting yourself in a way that you probably haven't felt in a long time. It's going to give you a real self-confidence. And maybe you lost a bit of that. Maybe you've just been so bogged down by things, right? 
in the last couple of years and you forgot what this feels like, Leo? Inside, right? Not bravado on the outside, but internal self-respect, self-esteem, authenticity. What is your why? What is your why? Why did I need to go through this to get myself back to this? Okay? Leo, I wish you kindness, reverence, and gratitude. If you liked the video today, please give it a thumb up and click on the uh, subscribe bell if you're interested in getting videos from me every week. Click on the notification bell so that you'll know when. And uh, yeah, I hope you have a great week and I'll talk to you again next week. Thanks so much. Bye.